The story of Prince Nala and Princess Damanti is found in the Vana Parva of the Mahabharata, which is an important text of Hindus written many centuries ago. But before I start, there is a small request. If you like my video, please subscribe, like and share. As it will motivate me to make more videos like this in future. Thank you. Let's start. Nana, son of Virsena, ruled over the country of Nishadha earning for himself the reputation of an ideal king. He was good at training horses and cooking. Hearing about the story of the beauty of Princess Damanti, daughter of King Bhima of Vidar, he wished that Damanti would be his wife in future. As it happened, Damanti equally loved Nana and chose him as her husband from among an assembly of suitors that included even celestials in Sayambar. An ideal king though he was, he was fond of gambling, a weakness that his older brother Pushkara exploited. Nana lost his kingdom to him in a game of dice and was expelled from Nishadha along with his wife Damanti. One of the disappointed suitors of Damanti. The evil spirit Kali was responsible for his discomfiture and loss of his throne. Damanti sent her two children to her parents' place. Once in the forest, Nana felt bad that his wife had to suffer the consequences of his mistake. So, hoping she would return home to her parents, he quietly left her in the forest while she was sleeping. Once on his way, he rescued a great serpent from a forest fire. who then did him the favor of changing his appearance to a hunchback to prevent him from being discovered however he had the ability to change back into his own form when he desired in his changed form he was able to obtain employment with king rituparna of ayodhya as his charioteer and cook under the name bahuka in the meantime after some problems of her own damanti found safe heaven in another kingdom and decided to look for nana She received intelligence about his whereabouts but could not be sure it was he. She thought about a plan, why not announce in that one town where Nana might be living under disguise. That she was going to marry a second time and all suitors were welcome. The list included Rituparna, whose kingdom was too far from Vidarbha to be reached in a day trip by chariot. But only one person could cover the distance in one day and that was Nana. When Bauka arrived with the king the menti ascertained that he was indeed Nala and Nana for his part explained that his loss at the gambling table was not his fault as he had been possessed by the demon Kali The reunion of Nala and the menti was highly touching Nana's reascension to the throne was joyous beyond description Nana and the menti symbolize eternal commitment between the spouses and readiness to sacrifice all if needed a couple derives lasting happiness with the assurance that each spouse is there for the other forever no hardship makes them swerve from the ideal of togetherness it's a story of two hearts beating as one and of two souls bonding with each other for life and beyond so that was the epic love story thank you for watching see you in the next video Till then take care and keep supporting